Hey guys, you're amazed to hear, and well, welcome to episode number six of the West Brom Corona people. And first of all, thank you for the appreciation we got for last episode. We currently, I believe, are on 16 likes, I'm not wrong, but obviously, you got around 60 something views. So, thanks so much for all that. I really appreciate you guys for doing so. And I hope you can get the same this time as I'll be appreciative if you guys can and try and keep it like a regular thing to help me feel more motivated to keep uploading daily. I mean, I'm trying my best today, I'm struggling. I might, the episode might come a bit later than usual. Uh, and this is usually been 3 p.m coming out hopefully around 334 latest because uh, i am editing this very late last minute story so i do apologize for that so obviously but here we are, at least we're getting it sorted out and obviously now i'm here voice overing it so obviously obviously we're going to a game here against burnley people and uh, burnley's one of the teams like west town where they're kind of difficult to play against for some reason fifa they're very very hard to play against and i don't know why that is and um as obviously going to this game i need that as well when I was live streaming one, the viewers also told me that Burnley is a difficult team to play against. And obviously that was the mindset I went into when we were playing this game. So obviously here, as I said, my mindset was actually trying to make sure that we just don't concede early in the game. Because see, against West Ham as well, conceding early, I don't know, it feels like it's hard to get back into the game. Because obviously I don't know what it is, defensively, this FIFA feels very more difficult to get past off. So obviously my aim is just to get, get goal early. So if we usually don't score, at least we hopefully can. If we do concede, it'll be a draw at least. I mean that's what mine says anyway. But obviously for me, this FIFA, I'm obviously for his career mode, I'm enjoying to counter-attack, which is what's kinda of helping me right now. So that's why we've got our first goal here, giving us the boost that we needed to get us um into the middle more attacking more. See here again, counter-attacking. They were trying to make the attack, we're still just pressing on the line. Um obviously gives us another chance. But obviously this time we didn't score sadly. But yeah, I mean that's what it is. So this I feel like this career mode. Um, it's very the team the reason why we're doing so well or as as well as we can do is because of the counter-attack uh, aspect of our team because we're able to counter we've got pacey players like Robinson Pereira so it really just works as Dean Garner Grisicki so it really just works for us to uh, to counter otherwise having Austin as well for example wouldn't really work in that mindset because Austin you can't really strike a more like it would be that the the playmaker to some degree giving Pereira the ball allowing him to uh, kind of score for us by MFC holding the ball holding the play basically which for Austin would be good for but other than that he's not really worth because obviously he's so slow doesn't really work so obviously we need to obviously buy a striker 100% but for me this coming December or the January we are going to be definitely focusing on getting a goalkeeper so I'd like you guys to tell me who do you think I should buy because again close to it now so I really appreciate you guys tell me I've recommend some players some good young players not even young but like cheapish players to buy for uh, the goalkeeper position because we don't actually have much funds. Uh, obviously, oh, it's a championship team that obviously promoted to the Prem, so that's what's going to happen. Obviously, uh, hopefully next season we will have more more funds. Obviously, hopefully positioning in the top five, top ten, hopefully will be great. So that'll be a position that we need to aim for, and obviously trying to do that. Obviously, as you can see right now, we're trying to obviously keep our lead here because currently we are only one goal ahead. Obviously, it's quite a uh, I say it now, a high turnover of goals because it's three goals in the first half already, which is kind of a lot. And obviously, uh, Burnley obviously are a difficult team to play. I'm not gonna lie to you there. Uh, their attack is really good. Uh, they, surprisingly, they're able to. The ball control is really good. That's what it is. They're really doing well defensively as well. They're holding us back and uh, stopping us from getting the uh, bigger lead of getting two goals again before the end of the first half, which is what we're trying to do. Obviously here, obviously defensively we're doing well here. We're still Ivanovic, obviously, and Bartley are the amazing pair to have because they've been doing amazingly for us defensively holding up the play for us on the team allowing us to actually kind of attack more uh, but only thing I need is our goalkeeper our goalkeeper is less than sometimes the easiest goals which is I thought this FIFA in general goalkeeping isn't the uh, hasn't been obviously improved in any way shape or form in the sense of like even a 91 rate goalkeeper would do terrible if you guys didn't see my first career mode um, yeah, Oblak is a 91 rated player, but he still somehow lets in easy goals in, which was a bit of like, uh huh? That's what it is. But anyway, as you can see, Burnley were back into the game here, equalising, causing us now to kind of be in a more pressured position because people we are like struggling to counter because they're attacking so much. It's just difficult. I was there to make a change, bring, take off Sawyers for uh, Jake. I thought I'd bring in uh, some fresh pair of legs, so the Sawyers were getting a bit tired. Uh, but yeah, so obviously same thing again. Burnley are just putting pressure after pressure and they're making it through our defence line, which I feel like it partly is me or I mean it's just the way our formation is, our way his team is, is very wide. It doesn't really work. Anyway, again, as a counter, you guys can tell the England being in front, but obviously taking his time. And the ball, someone gets to Pereira, but the keeper easy saves us. We couldn't do much about that anyway. Again, here making some nice play here. A Jader making a nice little hold of play. Finding Pereira, Pereira now in space. He has a shot and he scores, giving us 
the lead again in this game uh, near the end of uh, the match. And obviously here another chance to obviously increase our lead here but Pereira hits it wide. But obviously here had made some more changes here just to get some fresh legs because Robinson was tied again. Um, and just, obviously because I think our games were close between Burnley and uh, well, West Ham, very close. Uh, and obviously we had a Carabao Cup game coming up as well so I'd rather have Robinson plays at Austin, that was the plan. But anyway, so obviously here you can see Burnley are making play, passing it around, trying to make that space, working it around and obviously with that they scored a goal by, <laughs> by doing that and they were back to equal terms. And obviously near the end now we're still trying to get that last minute goal if we can, Austin here trying to make that pace, use that pace, use his thing, but in the end he skies it so it really makes a difference. It's actually quick for Austin to be honest, it's quick quicker than I expect him to be, uh, but obviously I, I expected more from him when he was shooting because I think he's got a very high finishing stat, uh, which is which is a bit uh, astounding to see that he didn't do well. Again here, Johnson did an amazing save here, a shot from them was amazing to be honest, but still they're putting pressure here in the 95th minute even though 4 minutes was the additional time. But anyway, I was end of the game here, um, to be honest I was upset to be honest because we were winning majority of the game, they came back and stole it but whatever, it is. at least we got some points uh, from the team at Burnley. So into our next game here against Aston Villa people in the Carabao Cup. So the last time we played them was in the Prem and we drew against these people. So I know this fact that they are going to be a difficult team to try and uh, win against if possible. Uh, and that is because obviously, to be honest, uh, Fulham was the other team that played in the Carabao Cup before we played in the Prem and they destroyed us. Not going to lie to us, they destroyed us in the Prem um, and that was the only thing. Uh, and obviously when in the Carabao Cup we kind of did well, we think we believe we beat them. Uh, but as it doesn't mean we happened there. Uh, you can never tell. Carabao Cup and the Prem is very different, but still, as it is, uh, Aston Villa is a very good team uh, in, this, uh, in the Premier League, obviously, and obviously uh, in the Carabao Cup. We'll see how we do against them. Obviously, with that, I obviously kept the team as it was to be. I didn't make many changes here compared to last game, except for Golovin on instead of Bartley, just to give Bartley a bit of rest because he seemed very tired from the previous games. Obviously, here you can see Aston Villa already, already attacking early into the game and obviously causing trouble for us which is a bit of like a, okay great this is how the game's gonna go then I guess and I'm not gonna lie to you this game was dominated by Aston Villa, Aston Villa were attacking so so much compared to us we were barely able to get a game past the defence line like defence was just actually holding it was a high price and they're holding us from getting past and not allowing us to counter really with frustrating obviously as I said our team is a very counter based team um, or the team player we use, the game that we use. And obviously, with that, they scored a goal early, uh, halfway through the first half. And obviously, this is actually our first attack. This is our first attack this whole game. That's what I'm telling you. This is our first attack actually get into the box. And obviously, uh, Robinson has a poor pass there to Kronich. Obviously, Kronich not be able to make it. And obviously, it goes to them. Here again, um, as similar had causing trouble, man. They're literally making so much space. And obviously, the defenders are actually trailing behind, which is not great. Obviously, here we are. And Robinson have another chance. It's still nothing to about because um yeah the keepers didn't want to stop it again as i said aston villa are putting so much pressure on us i'm just surprised that we did, weren't conceding by two or three goals by now because of how much because the athletic camera journey are the ones that actually did really well otherwise there were other ones that weren't that great but still i'm saying that that's how much they were attacking look at this they are constantly putting pressure like we're getting the ball the ball will back to them uh, clear ahead of the ball there's go to their players there ready to go to collect the header of the crossing in here again, uh, so somehow we haven't fully cleared it yet because this goes back to play. I don't know what it is. The ball is magnets. So this whatever it is goes back to a similar player. It's like a magnet of some sort. So that's what really annoyed me uh, in this moment of the in game to be honest. So as I made a few changes here, taking off Kromich and uh, Golovin for Bartley and Pereira. So obviously I thought like I asked to do that because uh, they weren't they weren't doing well for us. Was here Aston Villa scoring the second goal here. Like I said, Bartley did stop it, but obviously Dagba, whoever it was, did stop the ball. But the rebound still went to the player again and landed across it again, which is a bit annoying. Here you can see our shot, our rebound doesn't go to us, it goes to us. See, I don't get it. Why is the rebounds for my players not going to, uh, like my player basically, for my team to go to my team? Instead, their rebounds always goes to uh, their players, which makes a lot of sense. But anyway, there's a well-played goal here from me, I believe so, uh, in my opinion. And obviously getting us a little glimpse of hope to have the ability to maybe... Uh, get back into the game but obviously as you guys can tell it's near the last minute of the games now additional time and obviously Aston Villa had the ball and they're attacking and obviously from that attack it was end of the game so we lost that game as all well, people no surprise there but I was just very annoyed with how the game went 
But anyway, that is going to be the episode for today. But I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a lot shorter than I believe I hope it to be because I obviously rushed edit, so I do apologize for that. Hopefully, there'll be more time management will be better. But with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed and peace, people.